friends on YouTube, we are live on Twitch today and today we are going to be playing our Legacy Challenge. I am so super excited because I do remember last time we gave some makeovers to our twins, our twin girls. I had so much fun with those makeovers and today we are going to continue. Uh, right now the winter is starting in this save file. We are going to have also winter fest very soon, so also have to decorate for that. I am also planning to do some build and buy right now in the beginning of the stream because we have some leftover money and some rooms that are unfurnished yet so we're excited for that and also look at all the beautiful friends saying hi to you our youtube friends um yeah today thank you so much twitch friends for saying hi and youtube friends as always if you want to join us here live and be part of this beautiful chat and be able to give us inputs also when we are playing the gameplay or maybe just be lurking in the background uh, comfortably it's super super easy all the information that you need is in the description of this youtube video and we would love to have you here Join us, love us exactly. I, I totally agree. Come play, it's fun here. Exactly, become one of us. Thank you so much, friends. I agree with everything from above. Thank you so much. YouTube friends, you heard, you heard the instructions, all the other instructions in the description of the YouTube video. And now let's get back to our legacy family. Very, very excited. So let's get here. Thank you so much once again, friends, uh, for saying hi to our YouTube friends. And let's go so um it is here that we are playing as always so this is our household and look at all the beautiful and unique sims i am i am so excited to be playing with them also last time as i said we were giving makeovers to harper and to harmony our twin girls and i feel like they turned out really so unique in a way i will be happy to show you also um maybe in cast because i know maybe some of you were not here um yeah last week or actually last week i was in london so the week before last week and so on and i am so excited about them that i will be happy to also just go into cas once again so let me uh put my sheets in perfect and let's get into uh, into cas they grow up so fast Brash, I am, I am not, I am not ready for that. Exactly, that information, they are growing, everyone is growing up. And also, um, Esther and Vincent are quite soon going to be elders, which also, okay, not so soon. Ah, because we just aged them up last time uh, together with the twins. So they are full adults right now, which is great. Okay, we still have quite some time, but I feel like I am so not ready for everyone to be just aging up. I feel like my girls and Tony, they have all been my babies and now everyone is becoming a teenager. Ooh, Simply Bernala. too much for me, too much for me. Look at Harper. So this is um, one of the twins. We decided that she she's a teenager now. Um, so we decided that she will be going with this kind of grungy vibe when it comes to her clothing. Uh, that's also her style from her childhood pretty much. So yeah, this is how she looks like in her face. Such a unique sim. I feel like this family has really such unique sims so far. When they are growing up to be teenagers, I I just love her so much and this is also her cold weather outfit she is pretty i have to agree she is so pretty unique i i i don't know i just love i just love everyone from this family and this is her cold weather outfit we did put some emphasis on cold weather outfits because we are starting winter right now in the game um i believe we are in like first or second day of winter uh, in the game so i really wanted them to have proper outfits they all look so good no squidwards inside not yet there is still tony you know who might age up and um, the, the result might be you know quite special but we will see so far really no one so we are doing well we are doing well and this is her um, cold weather outfit. I am also oh. so obsessed. I feel like it's very grunge, very like her signature outfit. And yeah, I feel like it's something different than what I do most of the time. Tony might grow a beard, that's true. But also Tony is the heir. He's the heir. I, I'm really hoping that we don't have to, you know, 
I, I hope we have some good genes for the air, but um, yeah, we, we, yeah, we might do things as well. So, and then we have Harmony in here. Harmony is wearing her um, formal wear because we just had like a celebration. I am also obsessed with her formal wear. I feel like it's so cool. And this is her everyday outfit. Also, look at her, she's so pretty. She's also wearing no makeup. Um, yeah, she has no makeup. Uh, she is not really into makeup. I love that they look so different. Exactly. They also have quite different personalities. So um, Harmony the whole time has been into like logic and sports. And Harper has been more, I would say, into arts. Um, from my point of view, she is pretty too. I agree. I agree as well. And this is Harmony's uh, cold weather outfit. I feel like um, her hair and her outfit just matches so well. Um, her kind of like favorite color or the one that we used to dress her um, in as she was a child used to be green and blue. So this outfit is a little bit like experimentation, but I feel like it looks absolutely amazing on her. And then as you know, we have our viola here. So this is her everyday outfit. She is the oldest, so she has already been a teenager for a few days in The Sims. Um, so she is the oldest one. Then this is her cold weather outfit. I love it still. You can still see a family uh, resemblance even though they all look unique. That's true, that's true. And look at how unique they really look. This is Viola, for example. I feel like you really rarely get a Sim that looks like this. I feel like all the Sims mostly get to look very much the same, especially when they are randomized by the game, like some random townies. They have like very round faces, no strong features. I feel like in this family, everyone has some strong features. Like when I just compare, for example, Viola and her face, and then Harper, like they, they look completely different but still they look like siblings, so I love that. And here's our Tony. I am very excited to see how he will look like when he is a teenager and then eventually a an adult. Uh, also the face paint, once again, doing so much work. I love that uh, we have the copy to all outfits now so that I can use it on every sim. I do agree. I know that we have it here on Harper. Yes, we do. Uh, we do have it on viola, so that's perfect. I'm not sure about um, Harmony. We can do it on Harmony as well. As I said, she is not wearing makeup, so in my mind, she's someone who doesn't like care or enjoy doing her makeup, so she is just without makeup nearly all the time. But yeah, exactly. I don't really count it as makeup exactly. So for me, this highlight just, I don't know, like strengthens the facial features in a way. Also, Andrew, hi, welcome, quick, hi from work, hi, Andrew, hopefully the work is going well, 29% spicy, that is not bad for the weekend, and yeah, hopefully work goes well, hopefully we see you also then tomorrow. It just makes your faces look more alive. Yeah, it just, as I said, it kind of just highlights their facial features, it's not like too much, it's not like, I don't know, in my mind, it's just like how light is reflecting on their face, so it's not like they are doing their highlights or something. So I do agree, Sif, with that. That 29% is a lie, lies. Oh my God, Andrew, are you doing like much higher today? Because I know you said like, I think yesterday or two days ago that you are doing really well recently. So I love to hear that. I hope that you are like really high or feeling really high. That's super lovely to hear. And friends, I just realized we have no pet right now in the household because I believe it was last time, last time or the one time before last time that we unfortunately lost our cat Gucci, aka Chi, who was living with us for some time. She was a, they still have a negative mood, but yeah, from losing a friend. Um, yeah, she was a cat that we adopted because we saw her, or was it him? I think it was him. Just going around here, being a stray, so we decided to adopt him. And yeah, right now we don't have any pets. I feel like this family is not ready yet for a pet either. Rest in peace, Gucci, exactly. I, I don't know, I... It's always so sad when 
the pets die. I feel like I'm devastated all the time. But friends, today, what I want to maybe do first... Oh, look, it's all snowy! <gasps> I totally forgot that we also already have snow. So friends, I would maybe prioritize two things. First of all is decorating the house. I know that Christmas prep for us is in, or winter fest prep as in the game, is firstly in two days and Christmas in, is in three days, which is like a lot of time in The Sims. But I feel like it's quite snowy already since the first day of winter um, in The Sims this time. So I would definitely go in and decorate for Winterfest. I would love to decorate the house a little bit so that we have the decorations throughout the whole winter, maybe. Back to work by everyone, Andrew. Thank you so much for being here. I still need to play this week's Reaper Reward stuff. Been too busy. Same, same. Hopefully, hopefully one day is enough tomorrow um, to like finish it, hopefully. And so, yeah, so first thing I would love to do is exactly decorate the house with Winterfest decorations. And the second thing I would like to do kind of like as first would be decorating probably the bedroom. I feel like I am learning from the experience uh, from our farming challenge that we were playing yesterday and we are playing like regularly, mostly on Fridays, is I feel like their bedroom made such a big difference so and we have money so i would love to yeah decorate their bedroom and friends we have a poll please vote in a poll have you done the reaper rewards done them all still have some work left nope so i think since i have done some i will say still have some work left let's take a look um it's not even showing me you know those like tasks and things i know before i was able to kind of open this little pop-up that was telling me um what i am missing but right now it's not even showing so that's quite interesting and as i was saying there is only one thing that i really really care about maybe getting or two or three that i see now so this bike is super cool this bike is super cool i like it i don't know if i would ever use it because it's quiet um interesting or let's say special unique whatever you want to call it but i think i would like to have it in my collection this tattoo i feel like this is so cool i definitely would like to have this one and what is this a decoration oh i would love to have this as well i'm not uh doing gameplay so i'm not going to do it that makes sense i'm not doing building either now but if someone did a shell I know. Uh, is it the only base game? Uh, is it the only base game bike? <gasps> Wait, you are saying it is. Oh my God. Okay, I see. <gasps> that, that's true. Now that I am thinking about it, because we have bikes with growing together with eco lifestyle, right? And oh, that makes sense, Sad Dance. Now that you are saying it, this is the only base game bike. So I see that it makes sense. For people who maybe don't have bikes and also this tattoo this is so cool growing together in eco okay so i was right i was right i was like hmm maybe there are some more but that's good this shirt i mean it's very interesting for some sims but i could live without it and what else this i can also live without um and other things are kind of like things like getting a jet which you can also get in your game all the time so i feel like yeah for example getting these earrings you know that i am never going to use them so the things that i would really love to have are a little bit further so let's see how it goes i think it might be uh decoration though non-functional i think it's functional uh because i think i saw it in uh, the trailer or kind of like yeah the trailer for the reaper rewards event and the green reaper was actually biking on the bike so i do think you can ride it i have it as a base gameplay <gasps> you see okay yeah that's good to know then it definitely makes sense um for the base game players and i see friends that most of us in the chat either have done everything already from the reaper rewards on or nothing at all um and i understand i feel like it's great that you can choose uh, that there is this possibility but maybe 
not being too forced, like, I don't know, forcing you to do it and so on. So I like it. I like that we can choose friends. I feel like it's a time, as I said, to decorate the bedroom of Esther and Vincent. They do deserve it. They have been for such a long time in just this like empty kind of room and they do deserve a nice bedroom. So let's work on it. Let's take a look. That is big if then you don't have any packs with bikes. That, yeah, it feels amazing. I feel like it's like a little thing but it feels great to have something um, like that in your game, although you don't have to buy any packs. That is amazing. Also, friends, you know what? I am going to hydrate because I feel a little bit like thirsty. I haven't drank properly today, I have to admit. I did have that pumpkin spice latte today earlier in the morning, but that doesn't count as we know. So I am going to just grab some water and hydrate. Feel free to hydrate with me and also let me know in the chat what you are hydrating with. I would love to know. Cheers, cheers. Chris, hello. Welcome, 65% spice, we will take that. I wonder if that means they will add bikes to base game soon. Oh, that would be interesting. It seems weird to add a new functionality to base game, but look uh, it behind a reward system. Hmm. So many thoughts that I didn't have. I'm like, oh my God, all of these like deep thoughts I didn't have. Like, hmm. All of the above might be true. They might be adding it, yeah, because like, why would you have just one bike? Might be, might be. Friends, I hope we are all hydrating. Let's go. So, let's choose a bet for our like main couple of this challenge. So, I am, t I am, hmm. Which colors do we want to even have them? Oh, this is so cute. I am thinking, uh, happy Sunday, let's go. I am thinking, I like this green, or maybe in general something green, or mm -hmm, let me also make it so that it's morning, or maybe at least uh, a full day. Yeah, which color do we want to even go with? I love using this bed so much recently. This one is also very nice and interesting. And this has also this deep green. I am getting obsessed with deep green color recently, but it's such a nice color and I feel like it can make things look so luxurious in a way if you like design it properly. I cannot explain. Uh, what else do we have? How about this bed as well? I feel like this is from Seasons, and so it still has those quiet, wild combinations of colors. So maybe not necessarily that one. <gasps> this one is interesting. That's your favorite color. Do you, Chris, mean this like really deep dark royal green is your favorite because yeah there, there are definitely also more swatches or like kind of like hmm shades let's call it that way shades of green so i feel like you might as well have like one that is that is your preferred or so deep olive green i see yeah uh, uh, it can look so great, honestly. Or I am thinking about this bed. I love using this bed, but it has quite wild swatches as well. I see blue, not green. Wait, tap dance. Oh my God, friends, do you remember that trend that used to be like, do you see white and gold dress or blue and black. Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh my God, friends, I hope you know what I am talking about. Let me show you. Um, do, do, do. Let me show you what I am talking about. Uh, blue or gold dress. <laughs> friends, this is what I'm talking about. Do you remember? 
Hmm. It has a Wikipedia page. Friends, it has a Wikipedia page. So, what do we see? <laughs> Friends, can we please dedicate some time to this Wikipedia page? We painted the cabinets in my bathroom. That color, oh my god, I love that. You see white and gold? Friends, can we please get a poll for like one or two minutes maximum? I would really love to know, friends, which color do you see? Do you see black and blue or white and gold? Because I have to say, friends, I see blue and black. Or I see kind of like black and blue. Okay, okay, Brit. This is me and Brit. This is me and Brit. I see... Kind of like, friends, we do have a poll, and please, this is very important, you have to vote. So what do you see? I see black and blue. I have to say, I see more of like gold and blue. <laughs> or this is kind of like brownish, greenish, like khaki color. Friends, the poll is tied. <laughs> the poll is tied. <laughs> How is this possible? How is this still a thing? The dress was a 2015 online viral phenomenon centered on a photograph of a dress. Viewers disagreed on whether the dress was blue and black or white and gold. The phenomenon revealed differences in human color perception and became the subject of scientific investigations into neuroscience and vision science. <laughs> That's so serious. That's so serious. Also, good thing I am not home right now. Guess uh, how many points I have. Chris. I hope, I hope it's not the number. I hope it's not the number. But, oh my God. Okay, so we really all perceive color differently. Is there any like response, initial viral spread, overnight popularity? <laughs> Mm, real colors oh my god friends real colors of dress confirmed the dress was confirmed as a royal blue lace bodycon dress from the retailer roman originals the dress is black and blue the dress is black and blue although it was available in three other colors red pink and ivory each with black lace a white and gold version was not available at the time after the day after McNeil's post, Roman Originals website experienced a major surge in the traffic and sold out of the dress within 30 minutes. Friends, we really tied. Oh my god. So <laughs> if this is part of the research, friends, it's exactly 50-50. It's exactly 50-50. I see white and gold, I see blue and black. I always tried so hard to see blue and black, but couldn't ever see it. <laughs> Chris, I love it. You were like, you were like, you were trying, you were like focusing. Can you click on that image at the bottom? This? Ah, two ways in which the photograph of the dress may be perceived. Blue and black under a yellow tinted uh, illumination or white and gold under a blue tinted ilm oh. Ah, okay. <gasps> Wait! It doesn't seem the same to me, but it... Is this the same color? Friends, I think this broke my brain. I think this broke my brain. <sighs> Legacy. My brain can can handle this because for me, those two don't look the same. This is crazy. Legacy. The dress was included on multiple year-end lists of notable internet memes in 2015 as the original authors of the photograph that sparkle, uh, sparked the viral phenomenon. Uh, Bleasdale and her partner, uh, whatever, later expressed frustration and regret over being completely left out from the story, including their lack of control over the story, the omission of their lore, uh, role in the discovery, and the commercial use of the photograph. 
grew up in South Africa, the Salvation Army used the dress in a 2015 campaign to raise awareness of domestic violence. Okay, why is it so hard to see black and blue? Interesting. This hurts my brain, mine too. But friends, I, I don't know how we came to this, but this is so funny. This is so funny. Oh yeah, I know how we came to this because yeah, we couldn't see green. But that phenomenon, that was, oh my God, that was something. And I feel like our poll is also showing that it's kind of like 50-50. And I would maybe like to read more about it then after this read because this is fascinating. I googled it and basically your brain interprets the dress as illuminated by artificial lighting. I see it as uh, in shadow. Depending on this perception, our brains make different uh, subtractions of color to view it. Interesting, friends. Oh my God, I have to. If we want our brains to really explode, I have another question. Have you ever thought about the following? When I was a child, I was thinking a lot about how about if, about, 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 how about if other people don't see the colors the same as me, but they call it the same. So for example, I am wearing kind of like orangey, yellow, let's call it yellow, okay, for the purpose of this, of this example. So I am wearing a yellow t-shirt, but for example, what if Sif sees my yellow is there red? So what if Sif, Sif, Sif sees my t-shirt as what I would call red, but they call it yellow because for them, that's what's called yellow. My red is yellow for them. And I was like this, I was like, what if we all see the world like in completely different colors, but we call them the same thing. And oh my God, it still like explodes my brain. I don't know if I even was able to explain it, so that it kind of makes sense, but there are so many things with perception. Why do you want to hurt my brain on my birthday, Steph? I'm so sorry, I take it back. I take it back, let's not, mm -mm. no hurting the brains, no hurting, no, let's move on. Let's talk about what color we want this bed to be, or like generally this room to be. The brain is the most interesting thing ever to learn about and it makes me just, yeah, take notes, exactly. I don't know, I I, I also find it fascinating and it's, I don't know, sometimes nature is crazy, like it created brains for us, right? And crazy. The study of color theory and perception is fascinating. Sorry, friends. I have never like read into that never in my life and maybe i should maybe it's really some like interesting stuff that does make sense because we used to not have the color blue used to not have the color blue tendons what do you mean exactly like what does make sense i would really like to know but i uh, maybe missed something Friends, what do we choose? I should not be like super indecisive as I am most of the time. So let me be trying to take this bed. This one looks very luxurious in a way. So, and I feel like they deserve it. So let's take this one. I would maybe like some creamy color like this. Mm, creamy. Uh, or maybe blue. Uh, also, Jamalora, thank you so much for your follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, let's maybe take this creamy color, kind of. And uh, how about the wall paint? I feel like in my mind, they would have just like plain one color. So how about maybe something like this? This is very neutral. I might also try and go into some other colors or how about if we try exactly something like deep green or deep blue oh my god look at this green oh <gasps> mm. with gray maybe or this brown Color was invented in uh, 1960 with the first color TV because before that Everyone was black and white. Oh my God, Sif. No, 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 
no, no, no. I was like reading here like so seriously and then it came. <laughs> I started really, I was like ready for some fun facts. I was like, this is serious. I have to think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see it on me? I was like ready for some scientific facts and they never came. They never came or maybe they did. Let's, let's act as, as, as they did. Um, how about this side table? Oh my goodness, look at this. And oh, friends, I really want something like some portraits or something. Hmm, interesting. I want something like that. The journey from Queen reading serious fact to oh no, I am being gaslit by Steph again. Yeah, it was like this switch. But my brain first was lit on fire. First, my, my brain was like, colors were invented. And at first I was I was thinking that like maybe humans were not talking about colors before that, but then I then I understood, yes, I was being gaslit. But just a little bit, just a little bit. Friends, I am also considering putting a bed on this side. I don't know. I feel like both are super possible. Um, I am still also playing with an idea of some like really deeper color for, for this room. Let me try a few things. <gasps> oh my God, look at this deep purple. Linguistically, the color blue appeared, um, appeared late in Western languages. In several languages, including Japanese, Thai, Korean, and Lakota Sioux, uh, the word for blue is used to describe color shades that include green. In Welsh, the color for, for blue came from the word for green, so that the literal translation of grass, grass world, is blue straw. <gasps> really? Friends, also fun fact. Uh, in relation to color blue, oh my god, look at this bed. I was like color blue and I chose the blue bed. Um, that's also something that is in art, in art history. The color blue was the most difficult one to get and the most, um... yeah, exactly, sip one brain. The story of pigments is seriously interesting though. I think we both saw the National Gallery uh, about blue color. Exactly, so blue color was so difficult to get um, in the history, in the past, that it was the most um, expensive one. When, for example, you see some like historical paintings and not many of them have blue. And that is because it was so hard to get because not many things in the nature are blue naturally. For example, also friends, if you if you ever or if you never tried, some people are shocked by this. But if you eat a blueberry and you like bite into a blueberry, kind of like into the middle of it, inside it is not blue. It is kind of like nearly translucent to yellowish so and that is blueberry that we do consider blue so blue was really hard to get yeah pink used to uh refer to as greenish yellow color where is a green and yellow in in pink i was not ready for that one i was not ready for that one definitely not but interesting yeah like I don't know how all of these things work. I love that so much. Um, I love this blue one as well now. But we are talking so much about blue. I feel like I am really getting into the blue. Um, but I am having real problem with uh, choosing the bed. Uh, in Swedish, the old word for orange is fire red. Orange did not exist. Ooh, I feel like in Slovak language, in my like uh, mother language, we don't have like some, I don't know, words that are maybe merged to create um, a word for other colors. So I cannot like relate to those things, you know, like some colors being a combination of two other ones. I'm getting ready to head out on a road trip. Oh my God, Tad Dance, that sounds so great. Have a great rest of the stream, Tad Dance. Thank you so much for being here today. And yeah, have a best trip and we will see you sometime soon. Stay safe and have so much fun. Yeah, so exciting. Oh, this bed is also nice. 
Um, I feel like choosing the bed is so crucial, but it's taking me also so long, way too long at this point. This bed right here is my comfort zone. I use it way too much. It's from Eco Lifestyle and I really just use it way too much, but it's just so beautiful. It's so neutral. It like Eco Lifestyle, I feel like was the first pack to have really nice neutral colors, not too screamy. In a way, if you know what I mean, not really screamy. It was very elegant in a way. Same, this bed works in mul multiple situations. Yeah, I do agree. I love this bed. Friends, how do we feel about the combination of this exact bed in this swatch and the swatch of the wallpaper? Because I, I feel like they kind of match. I feel like they or not necessarily match, but it's a very interesting combination in my mind. So I would definitely keep the bed and maybe try and uh, match some bedside tables. I don't know if uh, a white gold bed works here. For me, I feel like for me, it's the like kind of reddish, orangey and the wallpaper. I feel like that's why I like it. Uh, I feel like that's why that's why I like it. Mm. Definitely white gold. No, there is red. Sif, don't you try to tell me that you don't see the red? I I, I know that you see the red or orangey or whatever, or whatever it is. <laughs> We're getting really deep into this. We're getting real. I'm like, mom, come pick me up. Come pick me up. I don't think my friends see the, the same as me, and it's getting a little bit like concerning. I would say. I'm just kidding, of course. Um, oh, this is interesting. Why don't we have also wood swatches? Oh, this is so disappointing. So super disappointing, but it's okay. We will find something else. Let's find something else. Um, oh, I feel like this one even fits in this swatch, this exact one. It's a little bit official. It's a little bit of a different style, let's say, but I would take it. Um, I feel like we will need a lot of storage space in this room, in this bedroom. We also have a lot of space in here. So I am thinking, how about grabbing? Okay, not this one. Is it this one that I mean? Yeah, so I'm thinking, how about grabbing? These kind of... Also, Chloe, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Um, or maybe we can get rid of these. Uh, and put like a TV or something. Let me try it. I know that it seems weird so far. It's like, what the hell is happening? Give me a sec. Okay, I these look like counters. These look too much like counters. Because my idea was, how about if we take like a TV and put a TV here and it would be this kind of bedroom. Maybe I would also take away this one. Not very spicy today. Oh my God, Chloe, I am so sorry. Hopefully we can spice you up. And how are you doing, Chloe? Hopefully everything is, yeah, fine. Um, and yeah, welcome, welcome to the stream. I don't know how I feel about this, just, because I know that those are like kitchen counters. I feel like they are not serving the same as when we have, for example, yeah, some other wardrobes or something. Let's take a look. Or we can have maybe just one, just one kind of like this, maybe another one. Let me take a look at what would be fitting. Mm. 
This one is quite cute. But of course, the swatches are so extremely colorful. This one would probably work the best, but not really. I, I really want just one color swatch. So let's take dark brown and let's take a look at dark brown uh, ones. Oh, this one would make maybe work. I like the foreign stuff. Let me check. Um, I'm fine. Sorry, I missed the stream yesterday. I had to take Duke to the veter. Chloe, you don't apologize for things like that. Duke is a priority compared to the stream always. I want to make that clear. And thank you so much for being here. And hopefully Duke is doing well. Um, yeah, hopefully nothing serious is happening. And don't worry at all. You can still watch it back always on YouTube if that's something that you would like to do. And other than that, never, never feel sorry. And especially when something serious is happening like that. Always a priority. Life is always a priority before stream. Exactly, exactly. As I always say, streams should complement your life and not control it. And never, never, never stress about not being here or feel bad or anything. That's the last thing that I really want. So yeah, hopefully Duke is doing well. Um, that's the most important thing. Let's take a Oh yeah, we wanted to check the for rent stuff. I have to say, I am not a big fan of for rent stuff normally. We could use this one. I feel like, hmm. We could use this one. Is this the fitting swatch? I feel like this one. Yeah, this one is kind of the most fitting probably. So let's take this one. Why does it look like a panda or something? I, I, I was not supposed to see this, but it looks like two eyes or it looks like oval or something. Um, and I was really hoping for some like bigger set maybe for the bedroom. But yeah, we can, we can also go just with this like smaller one. Maybe I can put... This basket here, his yearly visit, he chubby and um, wet, wet wants him to lose some weight. <laughs> chubby buddy, my poor baby. Oh my goodness, little chubby boy. Yeah, then good. That's good. That's good to hear that it was just a yearly visit. There's also a bigger version. Um, this is something else. This is also something else. Is there something else that I am missing? It looks like these are the only ones. Yeah, only these three ones. Um, or we can put this one here, kind of on the side, but then I can see that there is not enough space um, to kind of like walk by. Maybe the bigger thing doesn't match then, probably, probably. And yeah, I still maybe want at least a TV or maybe... <gasps> Or wait, I am thinking, hmm, how about a bookcase of some sort? What are we doing today? Today we are playing our legacy um, challenge. And first of all, we are working on the bedroom because we are living here for already way too long, considering that uh, we haven't finished kind of like their bedroom. Let me check because I feel like I am not a big fan of... of I feel like in general, I don't like the wardrobes from For Rent. I feel like they are not my type. Let me take a look once again. Um, a mirror. Oh, we definitely want a mirror. Definitely. Definitely. Hmm. You know what I am missing? I am really missing those like big sets of wardrobes. Um, these like I Ikea styles that you can really... Um, adjust to your needs something like when you can you know set those together just like we did here this is kind of what I like and what I am missing a lot in the sims because I don't like just these separate wardrobes if that makes sense so I would really love more of those that we can um, yeah customize <coughs> oh my god Sorry, uh, love the room color with the wood uh, wood floor. Oh my God, thank you so much, Claude. Thank you, thank you. This is just what we have so far. We have been live for such a long time, uh, but we have been just talking a lot about colors and how we perceive colors differently, like very random stuff, really. 
Uh, but yeah, I have, I have enjoyed that. I have enjoyed. So once again, let's try dark wood. And... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe something like this? <gasps> or like this? <gasps> Can we please take this one? Look, it has like little leaves or... Is it a flower? I feel like this is super nice because so far we don't have so much going on. I maybe want a carpet. Also, Dolly, hello. Oh, hello, uh, madam. <laughs> Ninety-two percent spicy. Um, Dolly came here to set the chat on fire. I can totally see that. Uh, cheers. Also. Dolly, hopefully you are doing fantastic. Welcome, welcome. Do we bringing the spice and also Miss Atlantis? Welcome to the chat, everyone. Just coming in. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful start to your weekend. Welcome, welcome. Happy Sip Day. Oh my god, I love that today is Sip Day, and everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Me and Brett have been working hard on that. And now everyone knows. Sorry. Sorry, Seth. Sorry, not sorry. Oh. Oh, I wish it was like a little bit bigger. Mm. It's too big. Tuesday is also International Mushroom Day, so it's a full safe week. Oh my God, I love that. Finally, Esther and Vincent is getting a fancy bedroom after so long, Doe. That's exactly the reason we are doing this. We said it's too long that they are just living in a very basic bedroom. No wall paint, no nothing. So, and I am so happy. I am so happy. I have learned from um, the farming challenge and how happy it made me that they have a nice bedroom finally. So, I am not doing the same mistake of waiting any longer. Let's work on this. Let's work on this. Oh, how about this rock? Will we find? I feel like even this swatch. Or maybe this one. Oh, friends, I feel like it's putting also the colors together in a way. How do we feel about this rock? They always having a bad sleep, did they? Did they have a bad moodlet? Because I never noticed. You like that rock? Perfect. Let's check just maybe for... Because there are different patterns. With different colors. I feel like this middle one fits the best. So it should be this one. Yeah, those are the same colors. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god. I feel like it's bringing also green into the mix. So I loved it so much. Let's take that one. We wanted a mirror, right? So let's grab some mirror. A mirror, 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 let's grab a mirror, let's grab a mirror, green you mean blue, listen, Sevo, listen, tell me, what color is this, is that blue to you, this is blue, this is kind of like orange, this is yellow, and this is green to me, do you see something else? I am willing to admit that you are right because it's your, you know, mushroom day. So I will admit that you are right with everything today, okay? I'm willing to do that because it's your day, it's mushroom day, so I have no powers here today. Or I am willing to give away everything. I think she means... Uh, like, Siv, you think they mean that it's purple? Which, this one? Siv, tell me that you don't mean that this is purple. Or who do you mean, Brett? Who do you mean? Oh my god, no friends! No, 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 no. Don't try gaslighting me into thinking this is not green. This rock is bringing in green. Okay, green, 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 green. Give me green, 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 green. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am meaning you with the she. Me? No, it's green, Brett. I said it green. Ah! Mom. I'm calling my mom, okay? And, and 
And she will tell you. And mom is always correct, so she will tell you. She will tell you, okay? Just, just keep playing with me. And the mom will, and the mom will tell you. Friends, hmm. Which mirror do we want? Call your mom. <laughs> I will. Brad, you think I'm, you think I'm joking, but I will. The mom will come and tell you. Night mom, mom, exactly. I will call night mom, mom. Okay, let's grab this mirror. Mirror. Friends, I need uh, a different word for mirror because I'm always struggling with that word. Can I be yelled at by Mama Spice? I have to tell you one thing. Mama Spice or uh, Spice Mom, Spice Mom never yells. I, I feel like the only time that my mom was yelling at me was when I was jealous when my sister was born and I like really bit her finger to the point when she could use, like lose her finger. But yeah, th that was probably the only time. My mom, she never yells, but she can get what she wants just because she's so nice that you don't want to disappoint her like she is. The Queen Lord, this is my Lord, definitely. Um, but yeah, she never yells, never. And you just don't want to disappoint her, so you do whatever she wants because she's too nice. And you don't want her to be sad, so that's like our family lore. Coming from an Italian household, um, what's it like with no yelling? No, we don't like yelling. I also never yell. And I cannot imagine a reason to yell, never. Really. Really never. I feel like there are also different types of yelling, definitely. But as I'm saying, I cannot imagine a reason to yell. <laughs> um, also, Draki, thank you so much for being here. And have a lovely rest of your um, yeah time zones. Hopefully you have a lovely weekend as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, should we get one of these? So this is like an artwork. And at the same time, it is a TV. I yell all the time, it seems. Do you? I need to be reminded to use my inside voice. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like it depends on like the house rules and everything and the personality as well. And it's definitely different in different families, but we never yell. <laughs> We really never never yell. Um, almost finished with breakfast, having a late start. Let's go, Miss Atlantis. Hopefully you really enjoy your breakfast. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. I feel like I like this. So once again, this is a TV, but it, it's also an artwork, so I love that. Uh, I overused that TV. I even had a CC like that, but with uh, classical paintings. <gasps> Oh my god, I would love that. I, I am starting to use it more. I just finished my breakfast too. A bagel, bacon, and a banana. So, uh, without that banana, because as friends, as you know, bananas are the only thing that I cannot, like, even smell. But apart from that, oh my god, bread, that sounds so lovely. I love that for you. Hopefully you are all having, in those, like, breakfast time zones currently, hopefully you are having a lovely morning. And also, of course, other friends. Hopefully, you are having lovely time zones um, on this beautiful Saturday. And I am thinking about getting some picture also here. And I feel like we should get some family pictures because, friends, we are not... Those Sims, we are learning. Those Sims are not going to be here forever. They are aging up. They are... Yeah, they are not going to be kids anymore, at least. So I feel like we might want to get some family pictures. We should do that. We should like really have them take some pictures. I feel like that would look so great on the walls as well. Okay, let me. I love this artwork. I use it so much. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I want this one. Let's get this one. And maybe some curtains because this is a huge window. And we don't want anyone who is just on uh, in the garden to see inside. So let's grab uh, some nice curtains. I think I might like these ones. Oh, those are so nice. Do we have some nice swatches that would maybe fit into this room? 
not necessarily. I love to use these from Seasons. Um, <laughs> they at least have like, oh my God, look at this purple. <gasps> wow, this unexpected, unexpected, unplanned, unpredictable. Fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly. And okay, this is maybe a little bit too much. Maybe I can get them like this. And I will move everything a little bit to the front, just a little bit, so that it's uh, not clipping. E just like this. Fun fact, today so many people have their birthdays. Uh, Seth, Simmery Sims, has a birthday party today here on Twitch. And also my IRL friend, so yeah, so many people around me have birthdays today. Very exciting. I feel like friends, tell me, tell me if those curtains didn't do so much service for this room. I feel like if you have a carpet and curtains, it immediately makes a room feel like, like very homey in a way. So I loved it so much. Uh, let's grab this one and maybe put it here into this corner or we can also just put it behind the mirror mirror kind of just like hide it behind it i feel like this works as well perfectly uh curtains make a huge difference i do agree i do agree they make it look very homey and also the rug i feel like we went for a very different combination of colors in this room than what i expected originally but i love it so much uh, we need something green we definitely do need a plant of some sort. So I'm looking for a space to maybe put it. I feel like we can put maybe some smaller one also here and I will put the TV a little bit higher. Uh, plant time it is. It's plant o'clock. It's plant o'clock or plants o'clock. Um, let's choose. Let's choose some. This one I love so much. <gasps> this one as well. But I feel like we do need green for this room. I feel like we can uh, agree on that. <gasps> Sunflowers. This reminds me so much of Vincent van Gogh. Oh my God, it, it's, it's unlocked on the level six of the painter career. Okay, I see why. Maybe one of those cozy trays that have a light. <gasps> We can do that. Um, I think it's in lighting. I think it's here. Uh, is this what you mean, Seth? I think this is what you mean. Um, <laughs> and we have definitely also some other ones. We have also this one, for example, with a T. Yes, oh my God, this is such a great idea. We have... Oh! <gasps> We have also this. Let me, um, I, I feel like I would go with this one. Let me just try. <gasps> this looks so pretty. I am thinking about putting this one on one of the tables, like the side tables, bedside tables, for example, like this. <gasps> and I really do like this. This little flower with candles, so cozy, right? And we can use some kind of different color. For example, like this red, I feel like it looks so like interesting and different because the colors here are so like deep and dark mostly. So I feel like red looks so amazing. Is it centered? I think it is. Perfect. Um, great. On the other side, we can maybe also have some kind of light or let's take a look. Or we can have also another tray, but like a different one. Or is that too much? Is that okay just in my head? Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much. Maybe we can add something like some books. 
Let's go to decorations. Oh, did I sell also the bedside table? No, come back. Yeah, I also think it's too much. I also think it's too much. Let's um, add maybe something like some books um, doo -doo -doo, or some magazines. This is so cool. Let's add some magazines. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Perfect. And what else? What else? What else? A bottle of wine. <laughs> A bottle of wine or we can add maybe like one mug of some sorts I love this one where you can still see some coffee so let's grab this one or maybe I have to place it somewhere else maybe here and maybe one more thing um, <laughs> Something like glasses? Yes, glasses from the everyday clutter. Same, same, same. I am just thinking none of them is wearing glasses, but we can just fake it. No one will know. No one will know. So let's go and choose um, everyday clutter. We are on the same wavelength again. Exactly. I was like, glasses? And then I look into the chat and you are like, some glasses? Yeah, exactly. We are. We definitely are. Also, why? Why is it sinking? I didn't like size it up or down. Okay, it looks like, hmm, it's okay. No one will notice. So let's do it this way. Uh, let's just keep them black so that no one can see that they are sinking in. These magazines always make me feel a little bit like, oh my god, what is that? What is that? Okay, we we can we can have that as well. And I feel like that's enough in a way. I feel like that's enough for the tables. Friends, we have to take uh, the break because of the ads. So let me save the game. Let's pause the recording. Friends on YouTube, we are back. We had a good round of uh, a break and then a round of hydrating. Everyone in the chat is hydrated so we can continue playing The Sims. So let's go. Uh, here we are in this room again. And so, um, yeah, plants. We wanted to put some more plants. I feel like even though we have like these little flowers and so on, there is, uh, there is nothing bad in putting some more plants in here. I feel like we could put some maybe in this corner, for example. And I feel like this room is very empty so far or it doesn't have so many we can also do a proper one Seb. we can also do a proper one friends you should follow chris i am trying to like very slightly make chris stream again so um if we could get a shout out for chris please all go and follow chris at some point we will make her stream again and you want to be following you definitely want to be following so chris don't you leave the chat i am no chris don't you leave the chat come back come back Chris come back okay okay now we are talking and thank you so much for the shout out of course so let's go followed I love that I love that no pressure just a little bit thank you so much Chris for the booty and oh, I love that booty let's go here is me coming <laughs> here is me coming back <laughs> how about a chair Oh, do you mean this like sofa chair? <laughs> oh my God. I love that. I love that little booty about. Yeah, let's put one like this. Let me also, um, let me pause. Uh, I love that your grape looked like that. It did. Oh my God, that was so funny. Also, Miss Atlantis, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I feel like a chair, uh, Siv, is a great idea. I feel like it's a great idea. I'm just like, where should I direct it? Like which direction? Oh, or something like this, like really fancy and big and like bubbly and, and, and stuff like that. Ooh. Big gold. 
Brett, thank you so much for 100 minutes. Yes, we do have a bit go. We are kind of like nearly half half or on, um, or over half and half on both. Thank you. Uh, with a, a reading lamp, perhaps that is also a great um, idea. We might do that as well. Thank you so much, Brett, for 100 minutes once again. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what happened is I woke up around 1 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep after till after 7 a.m. Then when I finally woke back up, it was 10:30. Quinn starts streaming at 10 my time. Oh my god, Miss Atlantis! Never, I, like really, never worry about being here right at the start of the stream. That's for everyone. Um, if you c can sleep during the night. It's the biggest priority that you get back to sleep and not necessarily like come to the beginning of the stream as 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 we were saying also to crawl with like vets and, and so on. So I want to make that clear. But yeah, hopefully you were able to sleep at least a little bit, Miss Atlantis. Hopefully, hopefully. Friends, also, you know what I would love to know? At which time... For you, do I start streaming? I know we always talk about that, but it's so fascinating. So at which time do my stream starts uh, start in your time zone? I would really love to know. I know, but I love uh, the beginning of the stream. Besides, I usually start cooking at 10. Then it makes sense. Then it makes sense. Of course, you are very welcome. And I'm so happy when you are here in the beginning of the stream. But uh, just so that everyone knows, like there is absolutely no expectations um, ever. Uh, we got our new mattress on Thursday. So I deep cleaned under the bed and my whole body is sore. But I have slept eight hours every night since then. Finally, oh my God, Chris, that sounds so amazing. I'm so happy for you. I slept in till 7 today. Usually you start at 8 a.m. Uh, my time. I feel like 8 is a good time for me. I would, I would say if some streamer starts at 8, I feel like 7 is a little bit early, but 8 is like kind of okay. Don't worry, I overslept today also. I am a YouTube friend. Um, I am YouTube friend for today. Oh my god, Joey, I love that. I love that. Um, but wait, Joey, you also... You also sleep before my streams. Doi, the way I don't understand your sleeping schedule, not that I have to understand, as my mom says, I don't have to understand everything in the world, but the way I don't understand your sleeping schedule, although I am really trying, it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely... Quinny, I don't understand also! <laughs> job that works on US time. I would also be curious. I would also be curious. Um, so I am uh, looking for a lamp as um, Sif said. I feel like it would be a great addition. Oh, for example, this one. No, this this looks a little bit like. Hmm. Okay. I am looking for a lamb that is like not too much. Oh my god, this one is interesting. This is from the new kit as well. Hmm. <gasps> I would maybe size it down just a little bit, and this can be maybe the reading lamp. Oh, this looks so cute. That looks good. Let's go. I feel like I wanted to have white light instead of yellow light. That's perfect. Um... Everyone on Twitch is also active at those hours, so I can play something in the background. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I feel like Doe is like, I, I don't know, I don't know, because friends, I am someone who needs to sleep during the night. Like, for me, it's like even a joke sometimes here on Twitch, but I do need to sleep during the night. 
Um, that means that in summer it's a little bit more difficult to have like normal sleeping schedule because so much is going on. Um, I cannot sleep very early because of how hot it is and so on. But during winter I do like to go to sleep at like 11 a.m. Uh, sorry, at 11 p.m. I like to go to sleep and be waking up at some like normal time for in my head, like 8 a.m. or something. But um, yeah, sometimes I really don't understand some people like sleeping schedules. I'm like, how do you function? I would be just sleeping then the whole day. I know that some people don't have options, you know, to choose, for example, like nurses and so on who have to be working during the night. But I have some people who like work office jobs and they choose to be going to sleep, for example, at 4 a.m. And I'm like, how, how, why, what, who, how, when, you know, I have all of those questions. Um, okay, friends, I feel like it's getting a little bit more full in here. Are we going to spend the whole stream just furnishing this room? Because at this point... It seems like it, not gonna lie. At, at this point, it seems like it. But I'm also quite fine with like a little chilled stream. <gasps> oh my God, do we want? The room is really coming together. I am um, I am so happy, Siv, that you see it the same way. I, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's still going to be a little bit more empty than I maybe like expected it. I was really expecting some big like wardrobe system in here, but I feel like it has a little bit of different spirit and it is interesting, definitely. I am thinking about maybe something like this. I know that it's a high school diploma. Also, Lori, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. None of them has univer an, a university degree, but I feel like it can be also just, we can act like it's something from work or so. Yeah, something like that. A lot of people are uh, nocturnal and they tend to be productive more at night like me. I, I have learned that. I have learned not to like bully my friends who are staying because I mean it in a good way. I am like, please go to sleep so that you don't feel tired the next day. But I had to learn at some point that some people really just function better during the night. Uh, what do we make here? We are working, Loti, on um, a bedroom for our legacy challenge. So that is what we are working on um, here today. And we are probably also going to be playing our legacy challenge. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go. So this can be something, we can act like it's something from work or so. Um, going to bed at 8 must feel so good. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm opposite. Let me get up at 5 a.m. to go to bed at 8. I feel like 8 a.m. for me personally is a little bit like too early <laughs> because I feel like so many things are happening at like 9 or 10, but nothing is happening after 10. Then you can just go to sleep. I don't know. It's, it's such a weird thing and yeah. Um, I wish Sims could watch TV while laying in bed. Uh, also wish they would make it uh, make with where some Sims can fall asleep with the TV or radio is on. Oh, that is so annoying when Sims like cannot fall asleep because of the radio. Um, can they watch TV in bed? I was not sure because I know that in The Sims 3 that was possible. And I was not sure whether it's possible also in The Sims 4. But friends, I feel like let's just leave this room where it is right now because otherwise we would be taking way too long. I feel like it's looking so much better. I am so happy for them to finally have a proper bedroom that looks like great and adult and everything. It looks so good. I am so happy that you feel that way as well. And I feel like also all the colors um, are really matching in a way at the end. So let me save the game. Um, so that we don't lose this progress. You have them relax in bed and then watch TV. That is great. Yeah, because I do remember that from uh, The Sims 3. <gasps> Look at how great it looks like. Oh my God. One more thing. One more thing. I want some nice ceiling light. Because friends, as you know, I am trying to really commit to using different ceiling lights all the time. Uh, because I just feel like we have so many of them and I rarely see people using different ceiling lights than just this one. So I want to really maybe find some that would match um, how this room looks like. 
at least something like this at least maybe time to add curtains in other places in the house too because it makes such a difference oh oh yeah okay because hmm, we can i was not even like thinking about adding them here but it makes sense makes sense yeah let's do that as well let's do that as well so first the ceiling light uh do, 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 do. hmm Or maybe just these ones? And I will still have this one in here. Oh, where is it? I will all place it here. These ones. Yeah, these ones are just there to look nice. Or I can make them like this. So that they are white. Okay, super nice. I love that. And yeah, let's add some curtains in here at least. Because I feel like um, in other rooms, wherever applicable, we do have them. Um, so let's add them also here to the living space. Are those? Yeah, those are the biggest ones. And maybe just the white ones. I feel like the white ones are so clean in a way. And here, maybe even the smaller ones. The alternative is the Desert Lux ones. Um, Des, wait, Desert Lux. Oh, I am like, this is definitely an alternative, but I am like so annoyed by placing all of those like little wooden things on the top. So I would prefer to use these ones. Oh, uh, and here maybe. Oh, I feel like that's so much better. Oh, let's go. And here, I feel like these ones will fit. No, the bigger ones or the longer ones. Okay. Oh, that definitely made a difference. I, I, I have to admit that, Siv. Yeah, that was such a gr great idea to do. This uh, makes it feel much more like home. I do agree. I feel like at some point we might also want to give attention, for example, to this wall and generally maybe put something under the stairs and so on. Because I feel like the space is coming together slowly and i am so happy that we are slowly getting like all the money for all the rooms and it's starting to look like a real house like a real home it's starting to look serious we do still need to yeah just bring this whole long open space together and also the office i feel like we also have to work on the office we don't have that much money left right now do we have family pictures? We don't. I never take pictures in The Sims, like photos of my Sims. Um, I never do that. And I have to learn to do that because I feel like it can be so extremely cute to have like family pictures on the wall. I should definitely learn to do that more often. But look at this bedroom. I am so obsessed. This is so cool. Okay, perfect. So let me set it so that maybe... This side will be for Esther and this side will be for Vincent. And it is um, nearly 9 p.m. in the game right now. Um, as we came home from um, the celebration, the kind of birthday celebration that we were playing with last time. Uh, I usually have a wall for the family, definitely. You can also get a mod uh, that auto generates a family portrait for you. Listen, we are probably getting that in The Sims for Life and Death. It seems like that is going to be one of the pre-order items. Exactly the thing that that mod does. So it looks like it will get you a picture of your like family portrait. And if that is the case, I am going to be like yet another stolen mod. It makes me really, really sad. With the new pack, exactly. I have one because of Sims Mobile. You have, you, ah, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. The new pack will have it uh, if you get the early access content. Yeah. It's good to get functionality in the game though. That's true. That's true. Also, Shar coming in with 90, 93% spicy. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the... Welcome to the stream. I cannot, I cannot even breathe. Hello, hello. Um, I do see that you are seeing it, Sif, as like, um, uh, like a console player, definitely. Uh, but yeah, I feel like just too many mods are getting copied recently, and I feel like it's just such a pity in a way. It's nice to have it in a game for everyone. I will admit that, but also it's just early access content, so. You will only get it if you buy the pack super early and not in sale. But I think the... Uh, but I can link the mod if you want. No, I feel like I will just wait, but thank you so much. Um, as console players can have mods, so it's good for us. Yeah, I see. Uh, used mods means there is a, a need in the Sims, in, in the game. So it means Sims is listening to what people want. I mean, that is definitely, that I definitely agree with. I feel like it's just, that I feel like those mod creators are not getting like anything from getting their idea like directly copied because I feel like this is directly copied nearly. So I see definitely that there is a need to add it into the game in some way. But first of all, not as early content or as early access, whatever you call it, like buying early and paying extra money and not being able to get those functionalities if you are buying it in sale. And second of all, like directly copying the content of a mod creator and not paying them for it, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't want to get like way too deep into this topic. It's just something that I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, I have like mixed feelings, definitely. So let's get everyone to shower. Sing in shower. Uh, yeah, go use toilet. I feel like everyone, everyone is super sad in this household. Uh, mostly it seems like because our cat Gucci died, unfortunately. So everyone is a little bit like sad and all of them are in the blue mood. And hopefully, yeah, it's going to go away soon. I feel so bad for all the pets dying. I feel like all the pets are dying in our um, gameplays recently. We have just spent such a nice time with them for such a long time without anyone dying and now all of them are unfortunately going away. Oh no, are you also crying? Harper, no. Oh my god, I was like, what is the sound? And it's... <gasps> We have a new butler! Friends, 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 friends. We have to go and make the butler. I Should we do it again? You remember, friends, how last time when we had our first butler, we went to the cast and we changed them so they look very, like, I would nearly call it stereotypically like a butler. And I feel like right now we might go and do the same thing or we might want to keep them just the way they are. I am I am not sure. I feel like it's such a tough decision. Um, go to sleep. I feel like everyone can sh just slowly go to sleep. Colonel is dead. Yes, they are. They are. I, I, I am quite sure that they are. Because I worry slightly... They have the a friend died moodlet that is from Gucci. That is from Gucci, but I have also a feeling that we got. Um, oh, Colonel is not dead. Colonel, did Colonel decide to leave us? I mean, this household has a lot to do, so I am not like super surprised. Yes, it was Colonel. I feel like there is so much confusion about their name. I feel like it's so funny. Yeah, they are Colonel. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. They just left us. They decided to find another place to work and on one side I really really understand that as well 
Did he retire on you? It seems like it. It seems like it. I like how we kind of um, thought, supposed, that they died and they were working for us until they died. It looks like they re just retired. So that is good news, actually. Those are some good news. Definitely. Oh, there was one more thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to decorate. So we should definitely decorate the house also for Christmas. Um, let's take a look. Do we? Oh my goodness. Where is all of this stuff from? We have so much stuff to sell. Where is all of this stuff from? I don't remember if it's from our like last house or if it's from some room that we just I really don't know but it's kind of funny we have so much stuff to sell we do have this nutcracker let's get the nutcracker as well colonel is what you get when eating fruits or nuts colonel is the title I am getting, and then Kermit as well is getting into the mix. Did you forget to sell before moving? It might be the case. It might be the case. Might be the case, definitely. Uh, do we have also, we have this nutcracker. <gasps> oh my goodness, let's get also this one. This is so funny. We are really in a Christmas mood. Colonel. Okay, that is also pronounced as Colonel. This is so confusing to me, this whole thing. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get some candles. Like this. One is pink, one is green. All the nutcrackers, yeah, one inside, one outside. Then we have these kind of like deers in here. Uh, we do have some candles. So hopefully that is already going to count as like decorating the house. I think it should. And we can still put some decorations. Like actually, um, uh, let's do spandrels. Of course, we want the icicles. Those are my favorite. The water, uh, not the water, the white ones. Perfect. Wait, how are those called? Freezes. Okay, so that is also what I want. So let's go. Freezes and exactly the same. We don't have foundations and we don't have really have any fences, so that doesn't make sense to be adding those. Okay, this didn't work. Am I thinking something else? Spandrels, freezes. Is it Eve's? Let's let's try this one. I feel like those are the things that I am always kind of confused about because I never have to like talk in English about these parts of the houses. So that's why I don't have like the best vocabulary in these. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, look. I am so obsessed. We are so ready for like winter fest and winter right now. And I love that it's also so snowy. So it really looks so cool together. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very happy with this. Now it definitely has to count as decorating the house. Look, we are so prepared. We are so prepared. Perfect. So the two things that I really wanted to do are done. I wanted to decorate the house and I wanted to decorate the bedroom and look at them. It looks like they are sleeping. So Mr. Butler, why are they reading watching them sleep? Hello? That is a little bit way too much for me, I would say, even. That is a little bit way too much for me. But it looks like they are so comfortable in their new uh, room. And I love it. Not creepy at all. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Better not. 
Also, Tony, go back to sleep. It's 4 a.m. And you still don't have your energy full. I feel like the rooms in this house are really starting to also look so great and so unique. Um, Tony has a loose tooth again? Is that why you can't sleep? Go back to sleep. Okay. So the wash machine. And I was also thinking about starting something like a gym in this house because we do have so many free rooms which was my intention when building uh, the shell of this house originally it was definitely oh my goodness hello esther <gasps> she reached level 10 of the cooking scale <laughs> Friends, that means one thing. We can add it to our list um, of the skills that we maxed and get more points. So let's go to Legacy Scoreboard. Uh, there it is. Perfect. So let's grab that one. And I will open it here for myself. And let me do also this so that you can see it. Uh, da, da, da. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So there we go. And that is going to be an knowledge here cooking. So, uh, knowledge cooking is done by Esther. And also, Esther, yeah, cooking. Perfect. That was so unexpected. I just love when things like this happen. So we need one more skill. We need someone to max one more skill and we will get another point for uh, the skills in general, for, um, yeah, this challenge in general. Wow, that is so exciting. Wow, 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 let's go. <gasps> hmm, 75K. I also have to find out how this counts. Whether also the house um, value does count into the money, that would be so, so great. Yeah, we have the skills. Then the aspirations, there are so many aspirations and they are not so easy to complete. So I'm very curious how we will manage that, of course. So let me put the tacos. I just love when things like this happen without me having to even like look or care. They just happen by themselves. Oh. And we were also working on completing the uh, crystal crystal crafter aspiration for um, Esther as well, and she is also not she has also not maxed her career yet, and so hasn't um, Vincent. But he's also so close. I really want him to work on his charisma. He's very close as well to level 7, which he needs for his work. So perfect, perfect. And it's also Monday, so he might as well just wake up, get some leftovers and start practicing that charisma a little bit before working. So let's psych yourself up and practice your speech. I am so excited for everyone to get over that um, death of... Gucci because everyone is so extremely sad in this family this whole time which honestly so valid and so understandable so everyone is hungry and needs some hygiene so let's take some quick shower here or there and grab some foodies as well mm, you grab some foodies as well everyone is just grabbing some breakfast at 6 a.m. Uh, also, is it Anya? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you. Thank you um, Okay, so grabbing everyone to go and eat breakfast oh, They are so cute to just kiss randomly. I love that so much and We have to craft uh, as I said some excellent jewelry so that is going to be very interesting as well and we are very close 
to also being able to complete the crystals um, collection. So that would be really cool as well. Let's harvest all crystals. I feel like over the few of the last episodes that we have been playing this challenge, the collections have really not been my priority at all. But I would really love to complete them at some point. We are so close to completing at least two. So one of them is this uh, crystal collection. And the other one is... Where is it? It's the shells. It has to be somewhere around here. Shells. Seashells. We are literally missing just one single seashell to be able to complete this collection and i feel like that would be so cool but i was trying for so long while we were at sulani and we were really not able to find this one but hopefully we are going to do at some point it's also a rare one so it's going to be quite difficult and now we can uh we can just sell all the crystals uh we could have another sulani vacation soon we could definitely Especially now that it's winter, especially now that it's winter, I feel like everyone could use a Sulani vacation, definitely. Let me just sell all of the crystals because we don't have any of the ones that we need for our collections. So, oh, 5,000 simoleons, that is so great. Or we cheese it, uh, you can get Sulani sand and build mode and beach comp in your garden, oh my god! Is that possible? Is that possible? I didn't know. I feel like that's a little bit of cheating. <coughs> I feel like that's a little bit of cheating. So we might... You have seen that? That's crazy. I didn't know about that. So we might also do that at some point if we are like really desperate. But I would like to keep trying so far. But it's a really great tip. Uh, it's too cold to plant. Okay, I understand. That would be very interesting as well to try. Um, I feel like we might want to get something to fertilize. Pomegranate, large poop. We have so many seed packs in here. So let's open all of them. And maybe use them. Oh, we got something new. <gasps> Did you hear that sound? That means that we got something new to the collection. Okay, any more seed packs? I feel like those are all the ones that we have. <gasps> Let's take a look. What is the new thing that we got? Tulip! Oh, I love that! So let's grab the tulip and get it into our collection box. Other thing that we got, we already had, so that is perfect. We are also kind of like nearly halfway through, I would say, through gardening. The gardening collection that one if we manage to finish that would be such a huge flex because i feel like there are so many things in it that we might never manage to get that so open and we will get a single tulip in there perfect and with the other things that we got we might also just fertilize the trees so fertilize um Let's start with tulips, fertilize, snapdragon, fertilize, snapdragon, fertilize, tulip, fertilize, snapdragon again. Uh, I want to use things that are a little bit more expensive because they work much better as fertilizers. Let's get large pet poop as well. Okay. Okay, perfect. <gasps> oh my goodness, look! Now that we have three teenagers, we can actually go to... Uh, to high school with them. I wasn't thinking about that. <gasps> Let's do that. We can follow all three of them. Um, to go to the same high school kind of I love that idea. Okay, let's do that So let's go to high school with all three of them and Let's check out for maybe some friends. I would say And 
there is one more thing that I totally forgot about. Viola has a crush, friends. I don't know if you also maybe forgot. Let me give you a little refresher. But this guy, Camden, who is a part of Delgado family, which is living exactly in the same neighborhood as well, he, um, not he has a crush, actually, she has a crush, our Viola has a crush on Camden, so I feel like that would be also super interesting. Um, yeah, they are par part of Tinder, I love that so much. And they are, okay, they are going together to prom. I kind of forgot about that part already, not gonna lie. Friends, we have a poll as well. Do you follow your sims to high school all the time? Every now and then, never. Don't own, uh, I don't own high school years. I do it every now and then. Please vote in a poll. I would love to know um, how you like to play with this pack. So let's go. And let's maybe meet some new friends at school. So... Is it not going to work because of the Reaper's rewards? Okay, it works here. Is it working just for one of these sims? If we have multiple sims that are going to high school, do you only have to complete it for one of them? I follow, the, I follow them sometimes to make sure they make new friends. Exactly, I feel like that's my main point most of the time oh my god we do, we have just the old high school in here friends we have to do something with that uh we have to do that after the school day i feel like that's the only way how it's possible because i hate i hate this original high school um it's how is it called High school, high school, high school. Wait, how is it called? Am I not okay? Am I not seeing it? I don't know the, pa uh, the pack, but the gameplay would also not interest me um, if I did. I, I agree. I also just go there as... Joey saying, for example, I also just go there to have my sims meet some new friends because, for example, as right now that they are all like very fresh teenagers. Who is this? Alison Landgrab? Alison Landgrab? Which of the Landgrab is uh, connected with you? In, in which way? But yeah, that's the only way that I do it. She looks like a land grab, she does. Who is this? Sarah, why is everyone so dressed up in here today? Who is this then? Paula, Paula Groove. <gasps> okay, she has a very interesting face, definitely. Okay, no one is upstairs. Who is here? Okay, field, okay. We have some more sims in here. We missed the memo exactly. I'm like, why is everyone so dressed? We can move up into the world and get with a land grab. What do you mean, Sif? Like, marry a land grab? Oh my god, imagine. Imagine our family getting connected with land grabs and maybe even in like second generation, that would be crazy and it's definitely not my plan but it might happen it might happen then we have paris here and tommy markovich okay or markovich oh interesting we might want to meet some of these sims i am so sad i didn't remember to like exchange the high school to one of the gallery ones because as i said i'm not a fan of this one uh, unfortunately, it's just very empty for, for, for most of the time. Uh, okay, morning free time and let's just meet some sims. So I think um, Harper already met this sim, Paula Groove, or Grove actually. Friendly introduction. 
Suli Suli. And we also had this kids club. <gasps> the Romy. No, we, we have Tinder. And work for Vincent is going to start. Okay. Build skill, charisma. Uh, build skill. Oh. Uh, maybe also charisma. Tinder. Uh, yes, we have a Tinder. This this group. Or club, actually. This club is called Tinder. Oh my god. I kind of forget forgot about that already. So we know this girl. Um also you can just Introduce yourself, uh -huh. Harmony, to Paula. Uh huh. Okay, all of them are talking already. Living brains. Let's go. Uh, also, Viola is coming in here. I feel like no one is just studying in here today. Friends, also, I just have to go to the bathroom because I drank too much. So let me... Um, and we have to play the ads as well. So let me just pause the recording. Friends on YouTube, we are back. So welcome back. We're a short break. And yeah, so they are just kind of getting to know some new friends. So this girl seems to be the first one. Paula, she was just the one that Harper kind of talked to, so I feel like it's great that they would all... Oh my god, that was a little family kiss! How cute was that? I am so happy that they have a nice relationship. I feel like so many things are bonding them in this big family, so that's super, super nice to see. Now everyone is going to class. What are we having today? It looks like some science, it looks like some maths. Here's like normal distribution. Uh, uh, reminds me of like university times. It uh, reminds me of university times. Is everyone here? Harper, let's go as well. Look at this girly. I know that she is a land grub, but she's like really fancy at school. We really didn't get the memo that we should like come really dressed up uh, to school, but I do understand. If you are a land grab, um, you probably have high expectations from yourself as well. Make sure to say hello to the land grab. Exactly, everyone say hello. And friends, we got um, some royalties. And for those of you who were maybe not here the last time, we have this little new lore going on where our like dad of the family, Vincent, he is so far a salary person his whole life. And this is a really hard corporate job in The Sims with very hard like working hours right now it's better because he's already nearly on the top of the career but it has been really crazy in the beginning and because of his career he also has to learn the writing skill and um until now he was just writing books about how to do like correctly with finance and budgeting and how to be a finance bro how to get into that branch and at some point, he's getting so frustrated and so just fed up with this whole corporate grind and everything in, er, about finance that he is starting to secretly write uh, fantasy books. And he is probably not using his real name, but last time he wrote his first fantasy book, The, Ra uh, the Raven uh, Head Mistress. And um, yeah, it's already getting some money. So the last one before that was how to be a finance bro. Then before that we had some like budgeting advice and things like that. And right now he has enough of all of this like really hard stuff and he wants to be writing books about, um, yeah, just fantasy books. Did I hear finance? Yes, this is the gameplay, Brit, where we have a man in finance and this is him. And he's slowly getting from being a man in finance to being a fantasy writer. We love a good finance, bro, we do, we do. But we also do love this like redemption arc from being a finance bro to being a fantasy writer as well. I'm looking for a man in finance, the trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. 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 Brit underscore please wants us to look for a man in finance for 444 biddies. 
Brett, thank you so much for uh, the men in finance worry, worry um, to the topic. And thank you so much also for helping complete or finish our daily bingo. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much, Brett, for the biddies. Thank you so much for a little disco moment. Let's go. Here is our man in finance. We have him. We have found him. Also, I haven't heard that song in a moment and I have missed it. I love that song so much. Thank you. Thank you once again. Um, oh, everyone is everyone is going somewhere. What do we have? Um, it looks like we have uh, a break right now. We have a lunch break. Let's go, Brett. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's order some foodies for them. I will just choose something random without looking. Uh, let's go. I feel like I really miss our gallery high school, the nice one that we have in uh, the farming challenge. This one, I feel like it's just so empty. I really have to get the one from the gallery sometime very soon. Okay, so everyone is grabbing lunch. And let's maybe start talking to some of the new friends. So here is Viola. She is just sitting next to this girl, Paris. So we might as well just talk to her. So let's go and let's do a little friendly introduction. Where is everyone else? Oh, you can maybe talk to this guy. Foy, foy. Oh my God. Oh, he's a teacher. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. We have a problem again, not being able to distinguish between teachers and students. Um, and okay, she is running to the bathroom. Viola has learned the following traits about Paris. <gasps> Paris is in need. Back to my lurk to read in the background. Brit, enjoy your reading. Thank you so much for the lurky. Thank you. Thank you. So this girl is actually mean. <gasps> I wasn't expecting this storyline. Who is this? This is the teacher. Uh, this is another teacher. So, okay. I don't know why we are actually sitting with teachers, but whatever, whatever. We are just sitting there and talking to them. But they would never let us, when I was at school, they would never let us sit with teachers. So that's why I just find it so interesting. Should we maybe come and try talking to the land grab girl? I feel like we might want to. She looks like a land grab, but she also didn't. I'm like, who does she resemble? I feel like she has like bob pancakes cheeks. That's why I'm so confused. Okay, then we have also some Sims in here. Those are also students. Maybe. Harmony, you can come and talk to these girls in here. And we have another class. Okay. So let's go to the class. I feel like I am just on triple speed because I... I don't know. I also don't find the gameplay of high school way too interesting once again we are just here to meet some new people uh, i am just choosing random things as well and it's the end of the day so right now we can already go to build mode let me save the game just in case that it should like crash or whatever else so let me just save the game and let's go into build and buy and this is classified as high school. Okay, so let's go to lots, 64 by 64, lot type. Can we, I, I, I don't think high school is a type in here. So let me just write high school. And let's go by maybe popular now. Oh, oh my God, look at, Oh my God, look at these schools. <gasps> this one, this one looks like really much different than the one that we have in, um, than the one that we have in our farming challenge, which I love to see as well. Maybe we would like some variety. 
and I can also see that it's not like copied and so on. So it's by this creator, Sophie Millie. So we might want to get this one. Oh, it's so interesting. Okay, let's try and get it furnished. Let's go. You missed the dance party, Sim. We had the man in finance. Oh, I am so sorry. Yeah, we had a man in finance by, by Brett for a second there. And we danced, yeah. Um, okay, something has been removed. Are there so many items that even my computer is lagging? Oh my goodness, look at this cool. This is so cool. So once again, friends, for anyone who would like to get this cool, Sophie Millie is the creator. That is such a nice cool, but it's huge. It is. I am a little bit afraid that my computer is going to lag, but so far I'm it looks like- I'm looking for a man in finance, the trust fund. Six five, blue eyes, finance. Trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Finance. The trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Finance. The trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Brit underscore please wants us to look for a man in finance for 444 biddies. Brett, you're really looking for that man in finance today. Brett, thank you so much for yet another man uh, in finance for Seth specifically. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, thank you so much also for the biddies, Brett. Let's go. Today we are really looking for that man. Today we are really looking. Let's go. Thank you so much, Brett. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, I'm still looking at this cool. I'm still looking at that school. I'm like, this is so cool. I love it so much. Did we listen to ABBA in the beginning in, on in honor of Sif's Day? Chris, of course we did. And I am, <laughs> and I am happy that you are asking because that means that it actually makes sense that we did. <laughs> because I was like, at some point, I am thinking like maybe Sif doesn't even like Abba that much, and I am like forcing Abba onto Sif, but um, and, uh, Abba definitely is happening on very important Sif days, so yes. Um, give me, give me, give me a Sif after midnight. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, friends, I am just going through this school and looking, look at this classroom, how it's like on platforms. I love that. Oh my goodness, I cannot stop looking. I'm, oh, look at this classroom. <gasps> oh, this is so perfect. And there are even some like insects and stuff. Oh, this is so perfect. I'm so obsessed. I can never again play with like the normal high school anymore. Won't you come and help me chase the mushrooms away? <laughs> Oh my god, the, the little mushrooms. Are we chasing the mushrooms away? Oh my god, I cannot catch the rhythm to like actually sing it, but we know, we know where it is. We know where it is, in which part. Oh my god, there is even the second floor. Oh, there are a bunch of easels in here and then like a music room. And yeah, I saw a basketball court. Oh, Oh my God, friends, imagine, imagine playing basketball in here. Oh, wow, that has to be so cool. And there is a gym as well. <gasps> the lyrics just work. They did, they did, they definitely did. Okay, friends, um, so there we go. There are all the teens. Let's take a look. I feel like we haven't missed any of them. Here is May Prescott and she's already an elder. It's all fun and games until a basketball goes through the glass wall. I feel like it has to be like plexiglass. Is that how you call it also in English? Because we would translate it as like plexiglass. So like a special very hard glass where that wouldn't just like break. Like even when being shot to or things like that wouldn't break, I don't know. So that's how I imagine it. Hopefully, hopefully this is safe. 
I would like to play here. I would love to. So let's get everyone to already go home. We are done with school. So let's go back home. Travel. Or we can do just switch control and then bring everyone home. That would work as well. So, oh no, there is no school anymore. Weird, I feel like it's glitching. We have bills. Oh my God, we have bills. Let's go and pay the bills because we are going to be losing some points if we don't pay the bills on time and we get power shut off or so so let's pay the bills right away that is our priority give me give me give me a sip after midnight won't you come and help me chase our worries away let's go no mushrooms chasing away i love that i love that why cannot they come home it's after 3 p.m so let me just bring the girls home and then um, then I feel like we are slowly going to be done for today. Today, I feel like we did like progress in like minor things, but very important ones, of course. So let's just... It's the end of the school day. Yeah, it's the end of the school day, so travel with harmony let's have them travel home uh we do live in bridleton bay and let's go home everyone should be free from school at 3 p.m so let's do that we bought curtains that is important it is so important it made so much difference Look at our house with curtains. Look at this beautiful bedroom. Made such a difference. It, uh, finally, the house is looking like very serious, very nice. It makes sense. It looks like adult people are actually living here. And I love this so much. I love this so much. And also, it looks like very soon, Esther and Vincent are going to get um, their promotion. So that is very exciting. So friends, uh, next time that we are going to be playing our Legacy Challenge, our future goals should be uh, getting Vincent and Esther complete their careers uh, to level 10. They are both at level 9 in their careers. So getting them to level 10. Then, of course, all the teenage stuff, getting our, so far, girls, who are, because only girls, uh, so far are the teenagers, getting them to maybe get some new friends um, as teenagers. Also, I still want to give Camden, who is Viola's crush, I want to give him a little makeover because I feel like it's really going well um, with them. We do have decorations already set up for our house, so we are ready for Winterfest. That is also about to come. We are already going to have Winterfest prep and so on. And yeah, I feel like those are like the main goals. And, and then, of course, a bunch of random stuff that comes up. Looks like she's watching TV proving. Yeah, exactly. She is. She is. Yes, so it's working. I think she just turned it off because she also has the controller, which is huge, in her hand. House is looking so good, Sif. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you like it. Look at it. Also with those little icicles. Oh, I love it so much. I love our decorations so much. So, friends, would you like to say bye to our YouTube friends? I would really, really appreciate. In the meanwhile, I will save the game so that we don't lose our progress. And as I um, said, all the goals are with the careers, with the girls, with being a teenager and so on. Bye, hi, future Chris. I love this. Thank you so much, friends, for saying bye to our YouTube friends and YouTube friends. As always, um, if you want to join us here live on Twitch, super easy. All the instructions that you need are in the description of this YouTube video and we would love to have you here. Thank you so much, friends, for still saying hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye, YouTube friends, they feature me. Oh my God, friends, I love that you also watch it on YouTube. I love that. 
come over to Twitch. I would, I would also say so. I would also say so. Hi, future Noe. Hi, future Noe. Hi, future Chris. And yeah, so friends uh, on YouTube, we would love to have you here. If you need information or instructions on how to get here, everything is in the description. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.